Hey, saw your post there on Chief Talk about 3D molding polylines. And what I've got here is a uh, little room that I threw together real quick. I'm going to make this door a little bigger. And um, I wanted to show you, you know, I'm not real sure I've got this exactly right, but this is the like a default room with baseboard. And I've put this cabinet in here. And in vector view, you might see it better, but um, put wide rails, took the toe off, and stuck this cabinet in here into these walls. And um, what, the, what I'm going to do, first of all, is take the moldings off this floor. And then I am going to go to the floor plan and click in. Uh, well, I'm not even going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to do a molding polyline like this. And I am going to attach baseboard to it. And I'll just use something right out of Chief's catalog here so it keeps it simple. You probably used a little more elaborate. In fact, I, I have a better base. I'm just going to use mine. Um, let's see here. Moldings. Base. Okay, so this base right here. And I'm going to make it 7, 0.75 and 5 and a quarter. And extrude inside. Okay. And then I am going to take my three key and break it like right here. And pull this over to here. And to the face of the cabinet there. You can make a room molding polyline too, but I, I just do this way. I can control it better. I'm going to take my three key and break it right here by the casing. And again, over here, click on this line and take the molding off right here. And as you can see, I pulled it a little too far. There we go. Let's just take a look at that and see what we got. So there you have your base running, you know, around the room. OK, and standard view. It just looks like that. So now for the cabinet, I'm going to draw a section elevation view right here. And then I'm going to go over here and get a 3D molding line. And just click down here somewhere, maybe like right here. And then right here. And then one more. And then click on this and open it and replace that molding with that. I'm going to use that same molding. This space right here, make it three quarter. It's a pretty thick molding, I guess. I don't know why I made it like that. And I don't know whether it extruded inside. I don't think so, but um, that doesn't look right. Maybe I do need to extrude it inside. There we go. Yeah. And I'm going to pull this down just a bit. So it doesn't now. Yeah. I got the cabinet a little too tall, as you can see. I think you get the picture here, though. So if I pull this over just a little bit, and I pull this over just a little bit, and we take a look at the full camera view, that's what you got. Pretty simple. Um, you get your return right here by the door. No fancy tricks. Um, if you want, uh, you could take this molding right here and, um, I don't know, break it. Maybe, I don't, I don't know, it, you, you can't see the other molding. And then on this edge here, take the molding off. And pull it to the drywall here, I guess, or the face of the cabinet. 
And um, then let's take a look here. Uh, it's pulled it a little too far, see. But I think in 3D I can. Can I do it? I don't know. Yeah. I need to pull it right into the molding, see. Um, there you go. So you might have to do a little trickery with it to make it perfect. Yeah, there you go. But um, you never see that. There is another way we can make these moldings join a little better than what I was trying to do there. And that is do like what you were doing, only not quite so elaborate. Pull this over, maybe like that. And then pull this, pull this one back a little, so they join square. And then get this one at the right elevation, maybe up 0.5. I don't know if that's too high. Up. Um, so maybe up an eighth more or something. Maybe a little bit more than that even. There you go. And so by combining, you know, you can turn this one and this is the uh, molding polyline in the room. That makes for a really clean joint right there. So I just wanted to add that. That's a quick way to join those in vector view. Might see, yeah, you're going to see some overlap there. Um, so you can probably pull this back a little bit and you'll have that in vector view. But if you're going to show it, in standard, uh, you know, that looks pretty good. And then you can always just add a molding here um, onto the bottom of the cabinet, something a little different, maybe uh, dash 001, just a square molding. And make it maybe 0.5 by 5. And oop, I didn't put it to the, there we go. And there you have it. So I don't know. I, I thought the answers you were getting were on Chief Talk are a little bit difficult. I wouldn't even want to do it that way. And in vector view, this looks pretty good. I wouldn't say it's fantastic, but uh, I guess if you're a perfectionist, this might not work for you. But um, for most things, I think it works and it was fast. So I uh, hope the video helps. See ya.